Yeah, we got Fly Amanita and a regular Ginny. They just have Ginny up there, uh, but his full tag is a regular Ginny. He's a player from Sweden. He mains Marth and secondaries Falco. Right now he's transitioning into Marth, but he has, he's very, very solid with both of those characters. It looks like he's opting for Marth for the Ice Climber matchup, which I think is a safer option. It's not necessarily better, yeah. but it is safer. You can make a couple more mistakes on Marth than you can on Falco. Or Falcon. Did you say Falco or Falcon? I'm sorry. Uh, Falco. Falco, yeah. yeah Falco. Like Falco, you, you missed the eye on one down smash, and that's the end of your stock. So. Yeah, that's it. With Falco, he's such a, a character that if you screw up while playing as him, you're going to get punished for it. Because yeah, that's definitely. the entire thing about Falco, like we were talking about earlier. Get in on Falco and you don't get out. And people are just watching you very, very carefully for you to make that one mistake where they can get in on you and take away your stock. Uh, a lot of things people don't realize when, when a, a player plays a higher tier character is that many people play that character. So your opponent is almost always uh, burst in the way of battling that character. Whereas, as we've seen with our Yoshi today and our Young Links, uh, the other player doesn't always know what's coming at them because these characters aren't seen as frequently. So, uh, like again, Marth. Not necessarily a better option than Falco, but definitely a much safer option. Because yeah. I'm sure Fly knows the Falco matchup like crazy, having yeah, so many technical Falcos on the list. There's so many Falco mains uh, going around right now. There's so many of them, and they're all pretty proficient. Thank you. They're all pretty proficient, and it's kind of the thing today. Like, um, like three years ago, it was the metagame to be very technical with your character. Yep. Today, that's only that's only gone up. People have only gotten more technical, and yep. so everyone's really well versed in the Falco matchup, or at least everyone that we see, you know, making it to like grand finals of these pools. You know, these are tough pools. It does take a lot to get to the end of them. Yep, and it's just the beginning. It is. There's more that's, tomorrow. That's <laughs> exciting. I mean, we've had some really great matches. I mean, we have to narrow down 640 players, so yeah. uh, it does take a little bit of time, but we're working our way through it. And I think they're in the process of stage striking right now. Uh-huh. I have a feeling it's going to go to Battlefield. Always goes. <laughs> I think I feel like that's a good neutral stage for it to begin with. Yeah. You know, Falco has a little bit of freedom uh, where he can combo, you know, off the platforms and use his lasers to pressure. And Marth also says, okay, well, I can also use those platforms, you know, just to combo you. Plan both... a very scary when he has platforms to chuck you to and from. He loves yeah. sending that up there to catch you, play catch with Marth's body as opposed to a ball. He, he showed off a little bit of his uh, fancy combos in an earlier set. Yeah. So, let's see what he does this game. They're really thinking about their strikes. And yeah. Battlefield's already off the table, so. Yeah, Ginny is a, he's a very methodical player. Uh, he thinks a lot about his counter picks and his stage and his stages. And here we go, game one on FOD. All right. This is a great stage for both characters. Um, Marth has crazy combos on the platforms. Nice read on the DI. Great start by Flamingo. He's like, I know you're going to DI back, so I'm this up tilt already here waiting for you. Yep, alright. He takes that first stock really solidly with a lot of great reads. Regular Jinny trying to get his bearings. And you know, Ice Climbers do have a lot of you know, baiting gameplay. Yep. They're very much a character that's going to bait you in. And how you beat Marth is by baiting him in. Because if you approach Marth, he's got so many zoning options that he can just keep you out if he's ready for you. Definitely. Great weight on the spot dodge. Takes the forward smash, just wants him off stage. Oh, good shield poke. That's one of the Ice Climbers' main weaknesses, that their shield doesn't really cover their whole body. So they do get shield poke pretty often. Uh, fly down to Solo Popo, or Sopo as we call it. Well, let's see if he can finish the stock. Yep, yep, same edge guard as the first stock, and he's up two stocks. No problem in edge guarding that. Because Marth is one of those characters that does sometimes have to peek up over the ledge. And sometimes it comes off as a really good uh, tactic to peek up over the ledge because he's got that hitbox in front of him. Yep. Doesn't get the edge guard. Falls into a almost fully charged up smash. All right, Fly trying to start some Sopo combos there with uh, some juggling up airs. Ginny trying to prey on the fact that Popo's shield is not that great, using that neutral B or the shield breaker, which is very aptly named. It's very proficient at destroying shields. It is. So, it's, it's scary when you get hit by that. 
and Martha reads that you're going to be in shield, and it's like, okay, I'm going to hit you with my shield breaker, and it's scary. That's the kill with the up air. Uh, 187%. Final Dreams does have a relatively high ceiling, so uh, I don't think. But Martha has a sword. Yeah. <laughs> he's got he's got that tipper. I don't think Flyman even thought he was gonna die, but he did. Ice climbers are not the heaviest of the characters. All right. Very nice tactic. Forces him to come back onto the stage. Really quickly comes back on and goes for the down smash. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Fly has such a mastery of these characters. It's so impressive to watch. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's probably, um, he's like one of my top ice climbers to watch. Yep. Just if I say, I want I want to learn about this character and, you know, see its in and outs and, you know, see some cool stuff, I'm going to go onto YouTube and watch Fly. Alright, I think Ginny needs to be a little safer around the edge. Mix in a couple more air dodges on his recovery. Uh, just change it up a little because he died three times with ledge hog into down smash three times out of yeah. four stocks. So, you know, even if you just make a uh, fly enemy to do something else, you know, just the fact that he has to think about what he's doing rather than repeating the same sequence of attacks, uh, or even better, change your character completely and then you have a totally different recovery. Yeah, here we go. I know this recovery, it, it seems maybe a little bit safer depending on where he recovers from. Um, yeah, definitely. He has the option to recover from above, which Fly has to like hard read it if he wants to stop it. Yeah. So uh, he definitely has that. I like the battlefield pick. Um, it's really easy to get mana here as the Falco player. Um, he doesn't seem to be focused on mana at all, though. He wants uh -huh. just straight for Fly and Nita's blood on Popo. You see, a lot nice of people do. Up. They do just go ahead and say, "All right, I'm going to go for Nana first. Yeah, and I've heard re like a bunch of ice climbers repeatedly say it's funny how scared people are of Nana. You know, it takes their focus off of the real threat, which is Popo. Yeah, I mean, obviously the goal of the game is to take Popo stocks, but uh, when you play a character like Falco, who has to attack with so many aerials, like getting rid of that double shield uh, is is actually very helpful because you don't always hit the double shield, so having to like try to gauge the range that Nana's at to know if you're actually going to hit her shield or not in time you're all canceling. Uh, it could be a little bit difficult if you're not used to the matchup. Yeah, it can, because this is this is one of those odd matchups. Like, not everyone is really well versed in the Ice Climbers. They're a pretty common player, but they're, they're no spacies. Yeah, not definitely. everyone's going to be an expert in this matchup like they are against Fox or Sheik. Yep. Seems like Ginny's having a hard time getting rid of Nana. He, yeah. He's doing a lot of down airs on her. Um, it's usually better to just go for a nair or a back air. Just get her off stage because her jump is really predictable. So if you can just get her jump and then just kick her again, yeah, she's dead point. every time. So if he would, even when Nana has a hidden percent that we cannot see, but it does go up the more he hits her. So she was around 70 to 80 ish when he was down airing her on the platform. He could have easily back aired her and got her off stage. Yeah, that's something you have to keep in mind. Like, because once again, I mean, that's something that I didn't know. This is not a common matchup. Jenny might not know that either. Yep. Fly gets a pretty efficient edge guard to take that second stock off of Jenny. He's doing some safe aerial shines on the shield right there, hoping yep. to catch him. That's one of Spacey's most important tools in this matchup. It's just shining and then jumping away. Yeah. Because you all you want to do is hit one of them. If you hit one of them, you can almost guarantee kill the other every time. So. Uh, well, kill Nana every time. Not, yeah. You don't always get the kill on Popo. Great couch council there. Can you get the kill? Oh, Nana with a blizzard freezes. Right, Nana's going to disappear anyway. Ooh, great combo by Fly. Ooh, great edge guard. Ginny was getting a lot of mileage out of that side beyond to the stage, but this Fly was trying to cover the edge option, but that time he waited patiently on stage and was able to punish him. Nice. Can you nice. wrap this Head up? Chasing. Oh, Ooh. he tried to go for the forward smash, but grabs do have priorities over the attacks. So yep. since the grab was already out, it was able to stop up those. All right, very nice. He, uh, he had them separated for a second. He's got them separated again. Oh, he should have done their mana right there. Ooh. Tries to get a dumpster in. Yeah, that's the angle I was talking about. That's really hard for the ice hammers to deal with, but it doesn't look like... Falco's gonna make it back this time, but just like that, Fly Amanita takes the game. 